Welcome to my piano lesson video. My name is Masako. I've already posted several learning videos in a lecture form. This time, however, is a recording of my real piano lesson and you will see how do I work with a student or how a learning process could be. As for the content, I wanted to focus on the technique, so I've just picked up some short segments which might be interesting. There are so many different ways of piano playing and piano teachings, but as a matter of fact, all the same in which style you play, your piano playing will be much easier. If you could control better the tense, and release of the muscles, just like a sports activity. If you get stuck in a stiffness and can't loosen yourself, everything will get more difficult as it usually is. And you would think, why it doesn't work? Actually, I can play much better. An overtension blocks fluency, mobility, and coordination. Your effort will be not effective. With this video, I would like to give you some ideas how to reduce or release the unnecessary tension quickly while you are practicing. It helped me quite a lot and I hope it will help also you to develop your innate ability. Let's get started. The piece is Devilish Inspiration by Sergei Prokofiev. This is really an uncomfortable section. He complains that his wrist gets stiff and sometimes he feels pain. The stiffness blocks the movability. How could we keep our hands elastic in such cases? His concern is about the right hand, but the left hand task causes also the stiffness. Let's check them at first. He is bending the back more and more and I asked him if he could lower the stool. He plays well, but his body is not really free. The back and the neck are bending forwards and tensed. The hand keeps also tension. Let's try to loosen the hand quickly, immediately after playing each chord. The elbow must be also free. Releasing the hand and taking the next position must occur at the same time. Now, let's look up the right hand. To simplify the task, at first play just octaves.
instead pushing or beating, grasp the keys so you have a better control for the sound quality. The quick grasp and release requires less effort and makes better and clear sound. Now, circuit the thumb inwards direction. It helps to release the tension and makes the hand movable. The sound will get better because the hand is more elastic. You see, his wrist is getting more elastic. The thumb goes underneath and outside of the keyboard. He asks how to come downwards easier. For the downward sequence, use the fifth finger on the pivot and jump up by pushing the key. He got it. <laughs> then add the grace note. Don't forget to circuit the thumb and to release the hand. Now you can watch the difference. His wrist was quite fixed and stiff. Later it has become more flexible and elastic. It is not easy to play quick chord sequence in pianissimo. To work the right hand part accurately, we disassemble the chords. The thumb plays a chromatic scale. The motion of the hand is unsettled and rough. We try to smoothen and reduce the movement. The thumb should work by itself without the help of rattling hand. Keep the hand quiet and move the thumb from the big joint. For the upper notes, use the last joint of the fingers so you can play more precisely and delicately. Took 
create a mysterious pianissimo sound, the fingers should be alert and at the same time relaxed. You must not lift up the fingers. Stay on the key surface, touch the key bottom for a millisecond and let it go. You can minimize the effort and play more precisely. Even in the quicker part, practice in the same way. Keep calm and loosen the fingers, especially the thumb. Now you can compare the difference. Keep in mind the freedom of the thumb. You see? So long for this time. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.